Hey there guys, Zach here from Invader, and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a first look at Office Touch for Windows 10. Today we're looking at three preview apps, Word, PowerPoint and Excel. All of these apps are currently in pre-release condition, meaning they do not represent the final product. So these are preview apps which, which will be pushed to the public quite soon actually for testing and feedback to Microsoft, much like the Windows 10 technical preview. So um, not long left to wait for the public, so uh, here's a first look at what you can expect. So up first we have Word. This is the touch version of Word and upon first launch looks just like the desktop version. On the left you get your recent documents and on the right you get your templates. Opening up a document will give you the new touch first user interface which works just fine on the desktop. And yeah, so this is the way it looks like. You get Home, Insert, Layout, Review and View tabs. In the Home tab you get to change the font, so if we go up here we can change the font of this. Let's find a good font to use. There's hundreds of different fonts as you can see. Uh, let's go to uh, this one and let's change the size of it to 26. So there you go. A lot bigger, you can make it bold or underline it and so on and so forth. Change the colour of it, much like you would expect to be able to do within a Word app. You can change, you can add bullet points, uh, numbering text alignment so you can center text let's center this into the middle and you can also make text span out across the entire page like you would normally expect to be able to do within the desktop version of word you can also change the style so we've got normal headings we've got subtitles intense emphases and so on and so forth and that's about it for the home tab you can also find text so if i search for html here because this is a document about html i will get a number of different highlights telling me where the word HTML is. Moving on to insert, you can insert a 